In New York morning trade, the U.S. dollar is under pressure. The currency is mostly softer against the majors. Fundamentals are fairly light, and the same long-term factors are sure to play out in the FX markets. These factors include interest rates, global growth, and Greece. Over in the years, the Greek parliament approved new reform measures. This paves the way for Greece's third aid package in five years. Meanwhile, on the central bank front, the RBNZ cut its official cash rate by 25 basis points for the second time in six weeks. Not surprisingly, the Kiwi outperformed, rallying against the U.S. currency. And for a closer look at the price action in the FX markets, euro dollar is higher by about half a percent, trading hands at 1.09.86. The euro did cheer the latest actions from the Greek parliament. Meanwhile, the pound eased off recent highs on disappointing UK retail sales. The British pound against the US currency is down 0.2%, trading at 1 and 55.87. Meanwhile, the dollar against the yen has turned higher by just 0.02% at 123.96. Meanwhile, the euro yen pair is the cross in focus today. The pair does remain on the upside above the support at 135.30. Trading central analysts prefer long positions above the support at 135.30, with targets coming in at 136.40 and 136.85 in extension. In the commodities markets, uh, taking a look at precious metals, they are facing mixed moves. Gold is in focus on Thursday. Now, that precious metal has broken above a declining trend line, which confirms its positive outlook. Now, the RSI indicator also broke above a descending trend line and is heading higher. Trading central analysts prefer long positions above 1086, with targets coming in at 1110 an ounce and 1119 in extension. And silver futures advanced on Thursday. Uh, it is higher by 0.6%, trading at $14.82 an ounce. For Trading Central Web TV, I'm Remy Blair reporting from the New York Stock Exchange.